Hey guys, how's it going? Playing some more Subnautica today. In the last one, we were able to build this beautiful sea base down here. We got the sea truck, the prawn suit. We have all the pieces to rebuild Alan's body. But the first thing we're going to do to warm up today, we're going to kill another Shadow Leviathan. There should be four in the game, and I've only killed one of them. So there should be three around here. Now... I've already killed one down here in the crystal area, or in the red crystal area, rather. So there should be one more down here, and two in the purple crystal area. All that being said, though, I think I can technically trap one of these guys in a base that I construct. I can make a cage for this guy and keep him as a pet. So I'm not going to kill this one. I'm going to go up and kill one of the ones in the purple crystal area and leave this one for later, hopefully for last, and maybe even to keep as a pet. Alright, stay away from me, bro. I'm, I'm giving you the pass. I'm giving you the possible you get to live pass. Don't take it for granted. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, if, if you start acting up, that shit gets revoked quick. But... We're just gonna head over here to the purple area. There should be two more Shadow Leviathans that I haven't dealt with. So, we'll take one of those guys in, just as a warm up, right? Get us going with the uh, controls of the game, you know? Solid start to any episode. Hold on. Am I gonna make it? I always feel like I have less jump jet every time I play the game. Can barely make it anywhere. Crest over this hill. Alright. Now there should be two up here. So hopefully we find him pretty quickly. Where's he at? Where's he at? Spider-Man would be jealous. He doesn't have this level of tech. He doesn't have the precision that we have, come on. Where's the Leviathan? I know that sometimes he hangs out over here in this crystal area, but this is actually an alien vent. It goes down to another alien base. I know from previous playthroughs, like I've fought him going down into that hole before. He should be anywhere around here. Let's just keep looking for him. Hello. Oh man, our prawn suit's actually running out of energy here. We gotta make this quick. Show yourself, Leviathan. I thought you were supposed to be the predator. He's not even trying to come for me. Anywhere? There's no way. There's two of them. So, I thought it would be quick, but... Yeah, I actually ended up killing that one in the red zone, and then I just quit the game. I, I canceled the recording because I decided after I killed him that I actually want to keep him and trap him. So, there's one here. Yeah, right. I was above his head. No way he got me there. I was on the crown. Looks like my grapple went into his mouth, though. Perfect spot. We got it right on his head. Should be able to get some good jabs in here. I've already canonically killed one. Technically, I've killed two of these guys, but in the video, I've killed one. So, this shouldn't be anything but a couple hits. Just a breeze to take these guys on. He's swimming above me here, which is a little bit annoying. And I'm actually stuck on a rock. Oh, man. That's plot. You're cheating. <laughs> Come on. That's two full hits. I can only take one more full hit before I actually have to repair. I haven't had to repair when fighting any of the other ones, though, so hopefully we can just get him in. 
get him down before he really does damage to us. It's much better when they swim against the bottom. Like, like if they're digging into the bottom, then we can kind of just uh, avoid their mouth and hit him the entire time without him getting us, but this guy's getting lucky. He's doing some real damage. Alright, I'm not going to risk anything. I'll do a little bit of repairs. Some respect to you, sir. The strongest of the three Leviathan, the three Shadow Leviathans I've taken on so far. Right, just because he's the only one that made me repair during the fight. And we hop in real quick. Oh, nope. Hey, rude. Give me that back. How dare you? Technically, we can take one more hit right now. This guy was absolutely out of line taking my prawn suit like that. I tried to hop in, but I opened the storage instead. So maybe, maybe that's on me for not paying attention, but hey. These fish need to know their place. He's got to be low now. Nothing in the game ever regenerates any health, I don't think. So... Whatever hits we've done to him passively, just swimming by this area, or, you know, each time we get out to repair. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We didn't even have to repair again. He's down for the count. We can't repair him or anything. Or, uh, yeah, repair him. We, we can't scan him in. We can't take a trophy from him. There's no meat to collect. And... Eventually his his body just despawns from the game. So once he's like this, it's pretty much over. And there's only ever four in the game, so you know, kill three of them, trap one of them in a base that you build, and that's it. That's pretty much all you could do. I mean, you could just trap all four of them, but they're not worthy. Not of that kind of respect. All right, let's get back out of here, and I'll go make Alan's body. You know what, actually, I'm gonna kill another one. Whatever. Alan, making Alan's body is like the end of the game, you know, so... Before I do that, I'm gonna kill that other Shadow Leviathan. I'm gonna save, just to make sure that we don't mess anything else up, right? Because there are still a couple things that I want to do before we finish this playthrough, but... Let's see, where's the other one going to be? Made a sea base is all the way up there. I would really expect them to be further this way, but I hadn't seen them before. Let's check over here. Yeah, I want to kill that other one now. Might as well. I mean, we're in the area. You just... It's too easy. Can't pass this opportunity up. What am I gonna come all the way back here? Waste the power of my prawn suit? Actually. Damn, no power cell. Alright, we're gonna make this quick. Where is he? Yeah, made a sea base is there. It's the only blue marker we have. Because it's like the most important transition point in the game. See. This guy looks kind of big. Oh, that's him. I was like, what kind of fish is that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's just the shadow leviathan's mouth. Here we go. Wow, this guy's pretty high up. Is it 500? Come here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Where is he? Think you could sneak up on me? Making sounds like that? Oh, come on. Bam! Got him. Right on the back. It's the perfect spot to hit with the grapple. He's trying to tunnel into the ground. That's the perfect thing for him to do as well. 
As long as he's under us, we get a much better chance at hitting him. And he has a much better chance at getting stuck on terrain like this, right? Because our jump boost runs out so quickly, it's just really good for him to be closer to the bottom of the cave. So I think being on his back, maybe he tries to run away from us or something. I don't know, it just seems to work a lot better. We're getting some good hits in on him now. He got the first strike, but we're showing him who's the real boss. The news of his friend's death must not have caught up to him by now. He doesn't know who the true apex predator is. Didn't you hear about the hero of the first game? I killed all the sea dragons. Countless reapers. I even killed a void ghost leviathan. That guy was a pain, for real. But this, the Shadow Leviathan, you mean nothing to me. He's not even 10% as spooky as... Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna... Whatever, I'm just abandoning that thing. That was way too easy. The Shadow Leviathan went down like nothing. He got the first preemptive strike on me. But everything past that was completely one-sided. He stood absolutely no chance. And that's three Shadow Leviathans dead. Completely deleted from our game. I could kill the fourth one. I've obviously proved that I have the capacity, right? It's, it's going to be possible for me to do. However, I'm going to keep him alive and make him a zoo exhibit. I'm, I'm going to build a cage around him and trap him inside. Why are you hugging my prawn suit, dude? Get off. I'm not into you like that. Pathetic. I can still grapple to him, I can still hit him, right? His hitbox still exists, but... He doesn't ever come back to life. They don't respawn. I can't scan him in, I can't take any trophies. Like, he's just... He's essentially deleted from the game at this point. So the last one down here in the red crystal biome we're not going to deal with right now not going to deal with today probably maybe we'll do that in the next episode or two i'm going to build him a cage and keep him right outside my base like a little he's, he'll be like a pet but for right now we got to build alan's body promise that damn alien i would find him a new vessel lucky I have more power cells back at my sea truck. I'm almost out of energy right now. But I'll be fine to get back over there. It is a thousand meters, but it's mostly downhill. We should be good. Mostly. Gotta go up over this ridge here. Let's see. I kind of want to make a beacon as well at my new base down here. Um, I should have the materials for it, and if not, there's like plenty of limestone and copper around here. Titanium and copper. That'll be easy. I have a fabricator in my sea truck and another one in that new sea base that I built, so this won't be a problem. Just make sure I have that little bit of copper. Um, I'm going to grab a couple bladder fish as well. I just see plenty in the area, so might as well grab something for the food and water supply. Here's another. Yeah, the fish that you use for food, I think these are the only ones that respawn. The ones that you can pick up into your inventory like this. So none of the leviathans, including like the chalicerit, the void chalicerit. Um, actually, void chalicerit might respawn. I don't know about that one. But the the crypto suckers, the uh, you know whoever else, none none of the big things respawn. Like the squid shark. Once you take them out of the game, your waters are safe. You can just have a peaceful playthrough after that. 
There's a ton of those crypto guys, though. Like, I, I've probably killed 15 of those, but it always just seems like there's more. Aw, oh, jeez. Quit your whining. I'll deal with you soon enough. Alright, dive faster. I don't want to get bit by this guy. Hey! Who do you think you are? Coming up on me like that. He obviously hasn't gotten the news yet. The other three are dealt with, man. It's only a matter of time. Wow, only four energy when we're pulling back into our base here. Let's get up on this little shelf right here. Got a nice little garage for the prawn suit. Perfect. Oh man, he's facing the wall. There we go. Where is that guy? I thought he didn't patrol so close to this area. I hope he stays away. Mm. Oh man. We only have one power cell? That's not good. How much is it for a recharger? I could build one in the base down here. If I have the resources to do so, let's see. Lithium, titanium, advanced wiring kit is gonna be the thing because I can't build a computer chip down here. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, technically I could take a couple batteries out of some. No, because I couldn't bind them together. I don't have any silicone rubber. Whatever, he'll be fine. We'll be able to make it back to the top with that much power. Do I have another one? I, I was really sure I had more than one power cell on my emergency storage or something. Oh yeah, I'm good. No problems here. Yeah, we got an emergency power cell both in the quantum locker and in the sea truck just in case we ever run out. Let's just gather up some food before we craft this guy's body. Head right over there after this. Now, this thing only has a bioreactor for fuel. If we had a thermal reactor... I think that's the only, like, truly infinite fuel source. Then, Ah, oh, shit, I didn't mean to make all of these. <laughs> Whatever. But the solar panels are only active for half of the day, or the day-night cycle is 15 minutes and 5 minutes, so it'll be 3 quarters of the day that the power cells are active, that the solar panels are active. But they won't be active in caves like this, I don't think. The nuclear power, the cells run out. The bioreactor, eventually your fish run out, right? So, thermal reactors though, the planet never runs out of heat. The thermal energy is the only consistent one, so that's got to be the best. But, I don't see any down here, and it's not worth worrying about. We'll be totally fine. You said this was the spot where I can make you a body, right? Yes. Hmm. Ooh. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as... 22 you. seconds. So, Alan, you said your people came here and... Oh, it's for humor? RP. It's I for the dialogue. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I oh, said, snap, it's like his body. Me. If that is your interpretation. So Nobody respects your scientific con contributions, Robin. Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next component. How did your valuable scientific mind end up infected? It wasn't. That's, that's the whole point of this whole game is that his mind is still stable but his body was not I don't know why my character didn't pick up on that that, that was like the so whole thing here to search for a cure I left the mission does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch this subject is uncomfortable uh oh if you would like to know more I will ask that you first construct the final component come on you know I have the materials 
You can see into my mind's eye or whatever. I know you can look into my inventory. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. How do I what mash do these together? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. Was he the one who crafted it? hard for me to find the words. I I must collect my thoughts. There's actually just some normal bacteria and he amplified it. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still Deal. owe me an explanation. True. I understand. Start talking. I feel like he's just gonna kill me when I give him the body. I'm making him like the greatest body out of any creature that has ever existed, to my knowledge. His mind is far superior to mine. You know, I've just been destroying this planet, and he's been watching the whole time. I I don't know if he could forgive me for what I've done, but I here we go. I'm I'm trusting you, Alan. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Alright, what you gotta do? You gotta have a furnace around your base, around your laboratory, burning it like, you know, a couple hundred million degrees. That way nothing can exit the perimeter of your laboratory. If anything exits, it just gets vaporized immediately under insane temperatures that no physical particle would be able to survive. And then that's it. GG. You just, you make like a vaporization chamber around your laboratory and nothing can get out. Super easy. Boom. Smartest aliens in the universe couldn't think that one up. Just, just build a box around what you're trying to contain. Huh? Oh. Relax. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. What? What do you mean we can come back to this? Stop it. You, I asked him like four times if he caused the accident, and I was like, you're, you're gonna tell me, you gotta tell me, you gotta tell me soon, you're gonna tell me later. And then my character's like, oh yeah, no, we can, we can come back to that later, it doesn't matter. What? Tell me. At some point. Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Let's see. The complete physical architect vessel is a biotechnology and cybernetic hybrid, incorporating design elements from more than 20 DNA sources. I think it's 27. The outer skin, the outer layer of tissue has the consistency of leather. The tissue is interlaced with channels of visibly glowing energy powered by the alien's interno biotechnological heart. His six articulated arms are suspended around his body by magnetic levitation. These arms contain independent, high-speed computing systems and are capable of performing tasks independently. It's hmm. pretty cool. I bet it's not frosty though. It's probably, probably rotation. I don't even see his arms. Where are the other four arms? Uh, let's see. The organic arms are considered secondary to the inorganic robotic arms. These are used for mundane tasks that don't require much fine motor movement. The bottom half of the arms are covered in a biocomposite plating that might serve as a form of armor. It also appears to store latent energy buildups like capacitors. That's kind of cool. Stores energy in things that double as armor. Sounds like the move to me. The hooved legs are reminiscent of several species of mountain goats. The hooves are covered in microscopic hooks that aid in exploring rough and uneven terrain. The fore legs and hind legs are oddly close together, which explains why walking might be a secondary mode of movement for this architect form. What does he levitate? What do you mean? Does he teleport? Oh, teleportation. There we go. He's able to teleport or blink short distances. The method is likely a scaled down version of the teleportation gates, but the methodology is not quite well understood. It's likely that the architect's body is able to provide the massive amount of power necessary for this function. Matching DNA appears to be derived from the following sources. The Chromium Bear, Putty Serpent, 
the electrode eel, astral rays, shaggy goats, giant geckos, and at least a dozen other biological species are present, but unrecognized at this time. Pretty cool. Yeah, we can see all of his six mechanical arms here, but I don't I don't see them on his body yet. Where do they come out of, man? Huh? Where, where were you hiding those? It's a little sus. I don't know. They're not on his back, either. K Alan. Is there something you gotta tell me? Commencing to chance Oh, man. Why doesn't it suck out my whole mind as well? That would suck. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. I don't think he's one for handshakes. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Amends? You don't even know if they're still alive. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. He's on a mission of atonement. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh no. He flashed red in that moment. Oh no. Guilt. Fear. Anger. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. Sea dragons. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong, but it would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. What? He didn't. The sea dragon didn't get out, and he wasn't the one creating the bacteria the either. Got out. He didn't Damn. destroy it. We played the first game. The sea dragon was in the cage until he died, and the facility was not destroyed at all. And we let the enzyme out. What what part of it was destroyed? What part of him was stronger than you anticipated for? Because his habitat was 100% intact. Survived the outbreak back home. Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. I was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. I, I just had to try. Location uploaded to PDA. What, are you just going to be hanging out here until I visit you somewhere else? What do you mean? The Architect Phase Gate Facility. Oof. I think we've already been there. That's at Outpost Omega, or Outpost Zero, rather. Yeah, I think the Architect Phase Gate is, like, somewhere up here. And... Yeah, we've already been there, but it was closed off. This thing's pretty interesting. Pretty cool that they were able to separate Alan's mind from my mind, rather than just sucking us both into this body. Which is... I mean, that's, that's what this machine should do, I feel. But... You know, clearly I just don't comprehend the technology. Whatever. Please, I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready. But for now, I have much to prepare. Is that it? Come on. I didn't mean that. I want those arms, man. Give me a pair. <laughs> Looks awesome. And, uh, hold on, didn't it say these 
tiny arms were for... Yeah, it said that these were for less precise things, which is why his robotic arms are attending to the terminal, right? They gotta be much more precise, much more uh, perfect. Hit every button correctly. I bet that guy would make a hell of a gamer. We gotta get him in a prawn suit, see what he can really do. Alright, let's make our way out here. Everything's still intact. The Shadow Leviathan's not nearby. Where are we even going to find a space that's big enough to house him? I want to make like a zoo exhibit for him, but... I need like a huge wide open area to build it. I, I guess I could do it anywhere, but... I want it to be in a spot that's good and visible from this base. Let's real quick, let's build a beacon for down Welcome here. Aboard, what is this? Vortex torpedo I don't need. Oh, my copper is in the prawn suit. We'll grab that real quick. Oh yeah, we got plenty. couple of beacons, we'll make some food for ourselves. I don't know, the next step is to head to the alien phase gate. I feel like that's pretty final. We'll probably save that for another episode, right? Or, or at least later. I want to build that habitat for this guy first, but I absolutely don't have enough materials. I already know. Everything I have combined, probably even with the stuff at my base like if I brought everything down here wouldn't be enough I wish I could build a portal of my own have a portal from my own base up top to down here that'd be ideal right or at least you know put an alien portal in this base and then have it teleport me back to like here the delta facility right just on the island here, they could have put a, a portal because it's the middle of the map, or maybe one lodged in the ice here or here, where there's not really anything in the game. Or, you know, even on the surface, tucked into the wall here, just anywhere. You, you could have put a portal from the bottom of the map to the top of the map. There was a lot more of that in the first game, although not all of the portals were the most useful. But at least there was something, you know? Before we head to the surface, I am going to grab a little bit of resources here. Let me see. Upgrades. Drill arm. I feel like this is doing nothing. Like... It says, powerful rear-mounted jets propel the prone suit into the air. As if I don't have the jets without this upgrade. But I absolutely do. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I have these storage modules. I don't, we, don't, we don't need that much storage. I'll put in one. Technically, you can have all four storage modules. You don't even need this. Because, even though this is crush depth now 400, it drains so slowly that you can actually beat the entire game without ever making a depth module and you just you know hop out and repair it like you know it's a little annoying but we're back at 100 now it can drop all the way to zero as long as it repairs faster than it degenerates right as long as it repairs faster than this thing breaks you can just do it like this even if you get bit you can still recover if you're above a certain amount. Right? Those guys deal 30 damage per good bite they get on in on ya. I'm not going to leave it like this though. I am going to put in the depth module. Just because it is a bit annoying. But I want to show off my game knowledge here. I had the absolute flex of being 900 meters under the sea level without any depth module. Let's 
Stay away. Alright, how about... Yeah, we can repair, but I'll just swap this out first. So we're not acting against ourselves here. There we go. I don't even know if that's true of the first game. I think the prawn suit and the seamoth break a lot faster than they do in this game. So it's much more difficult to delve into lower areas and repair really quickly. Like, I feel like that's exclusive to this one, but could just be wrong, I have no idea. cool either way, that you can just... you never really need to have that upgrade. Grab a little bit more quartz here, don't mind if I do. Tons of crystals in the crystal biome. And I know I need a bunch from my base back at the surface, although I won't be using any windows, I don't think, for the leviathan storage facility I'm about to build. That's gonna have to be its own whole episode. I don't know, maybe I even do some, like, mining off-stream or something just to get the resources, bring them down here, and... I, I have no idea. But that would be boring. I just need a ton of titanium. I probably need some lead. Maybe some plasteel. Although, they changed a lot how the, uh base building works in terms of like the the strength of your hull in the first game the larger you built your base it took the like the the hull strength went down as your base became larger so you had to add like lithium plates and foundation and things like that or else your base would just blow up in this one, I don't think that's actually an issue. I think you can just keep building, and it doesn't really matter how big, as long as you're not adding things like glass, or quartz, or things like that, right? If you add a hatch, I think it lowers for maybe some of the uh, larger modules, like a maybe an alien containment unit, or a nuclear reactor, or something like that. It might go down, but... In terms of just more base pieces, I don't think it really does. So... I, and we really don't need to enter it anyway, we don't need it to be a functional base. So... Even if it is flooding on the inside, we would never know because it, we're not going to go in there. And... It's not... It, it's not going to be powered. It, None of the above, but I don't think it ever breaks on the outside. Even if leviathans are bumping into it, and if you don't repair the flooding. I'm pretty sure the base pieces just always stay still. They always stay there. Damn. I really didn't drop that beacon. And I didn't take the sea truck? No! I wasn't gonna go back, but I left the sea truck. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Come on. You guys made me do this. I blame these tiny fish. They were too distracting with their beautiful feathers. All right, all right, let's go back. I guess I can drop off that beacon. Geometry is just so cool. I really hope that because of all the alien phase gates and, you know, us helping Alan and things like that, and, you know, this game was actually supposed to be DLC originally for the first game, so it was supposed to be like an add on, and I think it'd be really cool if you could teleport between the zones in the next one when they come out with the the next Subnautica is what it's called 
so maybe they make like an architect homeworld and you know a large zone to explore maybe two large zones to explore that are new right like two two alien underwater type planets maybe one with a little bit more land one with a little bit less whatever however they want to design them but two explorable alien planets and then one for the architect's homeworld and then also let us revisit the first game and this game just change a little bit of stuff right of course you wouldn't just keep the same storyline and maybe there would be some changes to creatures you encountered or there would be changes to something anything right and they could keep most of the map design they could keep almost everything like that I think it would be pretty feasible but the game storage would be large it would be like a, a pretty large file size compared to the first two games if they made it five times bigger right but that would be that would probably be what everyone wants it to be. That, that would be incredible. Just give us so much room to explore. I'm sure people would complain about the game being too big at that point, but what the hell kind of complaint is that? It was it was too fun. There was too much for me to do. I, I got hooked in and wasted my whole life playing a video game. Like, you know, relax. Make the game bigger. Everyone wants it. Don't listen to the hate. Right, like we see Kyanite down here. There's also Kyanite in the bottom of the areas in the first game. It's not like you specifically have to go to one location in each zone, right? You don't have to go to a thousand meters under the below zero map and then go to a thousand meters under the uh, original game map and then go to 2,000 meters under the next. And that, right, they're not going to make you piece together things like that. I, I really doubt it. So, just just give me the room to explore, man. Drop a couple alien phase gates. It'll fit in with the lore perfectly. Come on. That's what the architects had in mind, at least. Oh, and I totally forgot that beacon again, by the way. But I'm not going back this time. We go back for the sea truck, but I'm not going back for that. Uh, you know what? I'll drop it here. Ugh. That's it. So I have a general direction. Oh, come on. Back in the sea truck. I want to scan more alien pieces. I think there's more... Like, there's one more sea truck module that I can get. And you get it by scanning in ten different alien artifacts. So... We're definitely on the lookout for more of those, but I have no idea where they would be. Let's see, made a sea bases over there, so probably this way. Yeah, we were looking at the map here before. I bet there is more alien stuff over here. I, I haven't gone in this area at all. Um, you know, I can even use the prawn suit to explore more of the ice biome, and I'll never run out of... Uh, heat and I'll be pretty much impervious to all of the snow stalkers and I'll be just top of my game over here the same with up here but there is the ice worm leviathan to worry about um, yeah I have no idea where the rest of the things are but we'll just explore some of these areas that I haven't quite gotten to yet I feel like there might be one here just up in this ice section and then also, like, there's there's got to be one here, right? So we'll go take a look. See what we can find. I don't know how many I'm at right now, though. I wish it would tell me some place. How many alien artifacts I've scanned in. I might be able to find it. I don't know. We'll worry about that when we get to the surface. I can't wait. I hear the game is supposed to come out sometime next year. Sometime in... 
hopefully early 2025. But if it's really coming out so soon, I bet the, uh, what is it, the alpha release is out, right? Hey, hit me up, I'll play your game. I'll give good commentary. I'll give, I'll give pretty mid-level commentary, but like, I will totally enjoy your game and stream it. <laughs> Actually, I, I can't even stream this type of game. Every time I've tried to stream Subnautica, it's been incredibly laggy. That's why I gotta put out episodes instead. But that's alright. Record it and then put it out after. I would do it. I would totally do it. Hit me up. Take my advice, build that architect homeworld, build phase gates to the original zones. Where am I going? 300 meters above me. These caves all look blocked off. My sea truck is getting too long. Come on. What do I have? A one storage, one fabricator. Oh, and then the third is for the prawn suit. Yeah. So really, I almost have five bits in my vehicle. I have the prawn suit holder, and then there's also the prawn suit back there. How do I get out of here? I am so turned around. Ugh. Ugh is right. Maybe this way. I think there's several exits, so it doesn't even make sense that I'm lost right now. <laughs> Go up. Find the up. There we go. I think there's one entrance slash exit by the purple vents, and then also one by Meta. Yeah, so this is the Meta one, because we're going up and towards that. I don't think I've ever done the purple vents one. I almost went down from there once, but... I ran into the Shadow Leviathan and turned back. I wasn't ready to kill him yet. But now, these areas are totally safe. There are no more Shadow Leviathans in this purple crystal area. Just one more left, and he's eventually going to be our pet. I'm ready for that. It's going to be cool. I almost wonder if I should build, like, glass encagement around him because I don't want him, like, grabbing at me through the bars. If I build glass encagement around him, I can look at him from anywhere in the structure, but I would also have to reinforce it a lot more. So it would just take a lot more materials to do that. Which, I mean, I'm not really against that. If I, if I put a whole episode towards doing that, I'd have to build, like, another uh, storage module or two for my sea truck just to ship all the resources down there. I don't want to be taking five trips since there's no teleportation or anything. Let's see. Alright. So, at this point... We've killed three out of the four Shadow Leviathans, which that's all we intend on killing. We gotta trap the fourth one. But we've killed three Shadow Leviathans. I've built bases at all five of the Altera sites, plus the one at the bottom of the map. I've killed, I think, pretty much every other creature. Like, of course, the Squid Shark, he was pretty weak. But I've killed the... Red Chalicerate, I have not killed the Void. I have to kill a Void Chalicerate at some point. I'm gonna take this guy out real quick. Well, Just while we're doing the recap here. Um, I learned how to walk on water in my prawn suit. Absolute master of the terrain with this. Never lose height again. You don't even need the jump boost. 
creatures will look at you and run away because they're uncertain as to how you're winning so hard. Oh my god, what is up with that noise? The drill arm does a lot less damage than the punch arm, but if you just hold it, you don't really have to aim and you don't have to click as much since you're just holding instead. Where is he? He's so far above me, I don't even see him anymore. I would take it off, because it really is faster to kill him with just the punch arm, but I'm already grappled to him. I see another target, though. I still haven't killed one of these glow whale leviathans, and to kill every leviathan, like, that means I also have to kill the, the passive ones, unfortunately. Unfortunately for him, I mean. For me, I'm just thinning out their numbers. If there was too many, it would disrupt their food supply and, you know, if, if we don't kill animals, they'll die. So we're just helping out a, a fragile ecosystem here. They, they really couldn't do it without me. What is going on with this thing? I know you don't have that much health. There we go. It's because of this drill arm. Not doing enough damage. Take that thing off. Pop back in. Alright. I want to go back to our... Where's our vehicle? It's under us. There we go. I just gotta descend. But I'm gonna go back to the base. I need to re-up my power cells. I gotta orient myself, right? We have a ton of stuff in our inventory, so we'll empty that out and recharge there. And then I think we're just on the lookout for some more alien bits. Some more alien fragments, alien technology, whatever you want to call it. Shroom base Phi, Shroom base Delta, Shroom base Copa, Shroom base Zero. Oh, that's like right at the Architect Phase Gate facility. And then Shroom base Omega as well. Taking over the whole ocean. I wonder, can you kill these juvenile vent gardens? I know the large one is immune to damage, but I don't know about these ones. That technically counts as a Leviathan class creature. Come here. I'm gonna land right on top. Come here. You've trapped those plants for the last time. No, I think we're, it's like hitting rock. We're getting the gray dust particles. We're not getting like a yellow damage, so I bet he's invincible just like his older brother. But you're not. Get over here! How dare you lose all your money in the crypto stock exchange! Boom! Two hits. That guy was absolutely no threat. Alright, back into here. Back to the base. It always takes me way too long to travel in between bases. I always get distracted by 12 other things. There's just so much to do. This game is so riveting. I mean, look at these beautiful steam vents. Beautiful purple vents. I wonder if these count as thermal energy. Like, if I could build a thermal power plant around that and actually take energy from it. Not sure. We've already got all the power we need, though, for this base. Never run out of energy again. I think I have, uh... I only have two out of the four possible power supplies. I have thermal energy and I have nuclear power. But... The only reason I don't have solar is because I... ran out of quartz before. I have plenty on me now. Let's bring this bad boy back into the station. 
back into the moon pool. Come on. Perfect. I don't always get that grapple the first try. Usually I have to like bounce off the bottom again, but we're good here. Grab a little bit of quartz. Ah, go on. Nice. Our sea monkey is all grown up in here. I wonder if he can give me gifts. <laughs> That'd be a little odd. I doubt it. He has nowhere to pull them from, but... I don't think the other ones really pick up items. I think it's probably just dependent on what zone they're in. Like they, they just create them out of nothing, right? Set over here. 78. It's the other power cell I want. I know this thing charges while it's in the moon pool, but I have the power cell charger. I'll swap him out. Not if I don't have the other one. What am I talking about? Here we go. Oh, these things are doing great too. I hardly ran out of power at all. Like, I was using this. What? Oh, right. It's because I have the swim charge fins. My sea glide will probably never run out of energy again. That's awesome. Drop in a power source. This thing's almost full already. We just gotta wait for that last battery to recharge. Yeah, the only one that's really out of energy at all is the repair tool. But this takes so long to deplete, it's not even worth recharging. Let's drop off our other resources here. And... That's about it. I mean... Next on the agenda is just finding more alien pieces. So that we can unlock some more recipes, some more upgrades. I think I already have most of them, but I really don't know how to check. Let's see if it tells me here. Maybe alien data? No, this is way too many pieces. Like, the alien robot's not one of them, but we have the statue. The body also isn't one of them. Constituent parts? This might be two, three? The skeletal structure? No, I don't think the organs or the skeletal structure is going to be part of it, or the tissue. So, it's probably one, two... <sighs> There's no picture for this one. Like, this could be three, but again, I doubt it. Four, fossil excavator, this has to be five. Six... Marine life analyzer, like, I would assume that's one, but there's no thing. We have a bunch. I don't know how we haven't gotten all the recipes, but I'm going to have to look it up and just, like, check these against the list to see which actually count. Because I'm pretty sure once you get ten, it's supposed to give you all the recipes, but I definitely don't have them all. Yeah, we got the storage, aquarium, docking, fabricator, and sleeper module, but there's one more that we can unlock later. And uh, according to the game, we've still never been to the alien distress call. I never even picked up Alan. For the Forget that guy. <laughs> Alright. In the next one, hopefully we're going to find another uh, alien component or two to really round out our recipe list here. I'll probably be killing that Void Leviathan as well in the next one. Uh, I gotta hit that Glow Whale. Just tying up loose ends before we hit the teleporter. Before we hit that Phase Gate facility. I think the next episode is probably gonna be tying up other loose ends. After that, there's gonna be a whole episode dedicated to building a, a zoo habitat for that last massive leviathan for the last shadow leviathan we're gonna build a huge base just to enclose him inside keep him as a pet but we've only got you know probably three to five more episodes in this 
playlist and this playthrough here kind of sucks. I almost thought it would take me longer, but we beat the game in we beat the first game in 20. This one's probably going to be no more than 25, but I don't know. I'm sure we'll be able to find something else to do in these games. It's plenty of fun. Maybe I'll, I'll probably go back to the first game and trap each leviathan in a habitat as well. Make a, a huge zoo containing all of the creatures from the first game. Uh, all the leviathans at least, right? We'll get the ghost leviathan, we'll get the reaper, probably a sea dragon, probably uh, I don't know, whatever else. I don't know. That's it for this one though. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out something to do in the next one, but I'll see you then. Peace.